Meteorologist Dean D. Davidson and severe weather specialist here for the Weather Pros Live Weather Blogs.com. We're talking the pre forecast information that we're going to add to what we may see this hurricane season as we get into and closer to it. First of all, we're coming off a strong El Nino, shifting over to the La Nina stage. That means more active hurricane seasons, obviously, here in the Atlantic Ocean. And the last couple of years have been very quiet with the with minimal systems, especially um, on the El Nino year of last year, a very slow year. But La Nina comes together, you can see, less shear, more moisture. Cool, dry air across here in the equator areas, and there are fewer storms here in the Pacific with higher shear levels. When you get into that, less in the Pacific, more in the Atlantic, more potential for hurricanes. So I, I've taken a few images on where highs and lows could place and show you the potential for where a hurricane could hit. So if we had a high pressure system sitting in the Tennessee Valley and one off the uh, Atlantic Ocean, which would be a Bermuda high, it would open up a few things. The potential for a western moving system towards Florida or the Gulf or up this coast. This would be the most likely scenarios to occur. And it also depends on month. We have that broke down for you too also. And we got a low pressure here in the Ohio Valley. A high in the Gulf. And a high here sitting as normal as a Bermuda High. This will go around the Bermuda High most of the time. Staying off the shore depending on where that You've lies. got mail. And versus... Um, the high, the, the low closer to the coast, you know, would be more offshore. This high was a little further to the west. The low a little further to the west would be closer inland. So that's how that works on that idea. So then you have what happens if the highs are real close together and the lows close together. So you get a high in the Midwest, a low along the east coast, a high here getting closer to the east coast, but a Bermuda high, and a high down here in the Caribbean. That first off, most of the time will allow storms to develop in the Gulf of Mexico, which could move along the coast as this moves off the coast. We would get a pull of the storm up the Appalachians. We could also have the, the it would turn near the Carolinas. So it, that would mainly keep us out of the area for the most potential hurricane. Now, as you can see here, the high up in the northern area, high in the Caribbean, and a high out near Bermuda would allow the East Coast to be more in the range. So, where's the most predominant hurricane track? Well, when we take a look here, you can see a lot of them come out of the Caribbean, move up towards Florida, and then ride the coast. A lot of that being the high pressure out here, low pressure over here, what we were describing earlier, also coming into the Gulf of Mexico. That's your main June. In July, we get some more out towards the islands, and we get a lot more presentation along the East Coast. The potential increases. If we increase to August, of course, we get the Cape Verde season, and we get hot spots, especially in La Nina's, right along the islands, and anywhere, depending on where the highs and lows are, gives you the opportunity for the hurricanes, and you, as you know, September is the most active month. You can get a hurricane in a lot of places, and... September and East Coast is very hot in October also. Storms in November. <clears throat> your areas usually shrink, but but is a big word to use here. The potential does exist for a subtropical storm or tropical storm to come right off the coast of the Carolinas. As you see these are all storms between nineteen fifty and nineteen two thousand one that occurred. So where do we get the best chance of hurricanes? Well, Long Island has a shot. Up here in New Hampshire has a shot. They're lower ended to the light blue. Okay, so the Cape gets more hurricanes. And areas such as the Jersey Shore and Long Island have a better shot of a hurricane than up in here in New Hampshire. To go further south, we really start heating up in North Carolina, Virginia. Southeastern Virginia, North Carolina is a prime spot for the potential for hurricanes to hit and down through Myrtle Beach so 
that's your prime spot in the southeast United States. Hopefully this is a little bit of an informative uh, session on what's going on. We'll have a hurricane forecast out within the next month. Meteorologist Dean Davison, who's a weather pros, thank you for watching.